it's salted licorice vodka o'clock on real ale craft beer and judging by the thumbnail of this video um, in all honesty i'm going to comment on this now i'm really not looking forward to this alcoholic beverage now buddy visor i want to start off by saying buddy visor is one terrific person he has sent me some terrific beers from all over finland and in this particular package that he sent in 2022 i believe it was may 2022 he sent me a bottle of this course ken Kuva salty licorice vodka it's brewed in the town or in the village of Korsakova we make a smooth honest vodka we've added Scandinavian salted candy to create a spicy licorice liqueur it's as simple as that so if you visited Scandinavia uh, you might have come across I was in Sweden and I come across um, little packets of salted uh, licorice sweets that my Swedish friends and my Norwegian friends said, buy them, try them, they're crazy. So um, I picked up these salted licorice sweets thinking nothing of it. I thought, oh, you know, licorice, what could be so bad? Open one of these sweets and honestly, the amount of salt and the amount of licorice flavour makes you wince it makes you kind of if you've not had it before it will make you wince it will make you oh whoa, whoa. there's some videos on the channel i've actually recorded videos of myself eating this salty licorice it's worth having a look at the video um, i can't quite remember the name of this salty licorice but if you're watching in scandinavia um, and you know the name of this licorice with the laughing monkey on the pack have a look you'll see my video so they've used that salty licorice and put it in vodka this might make me wince a little bit right i'm not sure if you shake it up or you know i don't know uh, make sure there's no sediment there but thank you buddy visor uh, for sending me something quite interesting in the past he's also sent me some finnish mead and the mead was amazing it was terrific i really enjoyed it i can smell the licorice from here oh man oh man oh man oh blimey i'm not gonna need too much of this stuff it's a 30 percent vodka with some of this licorice in Right, there it is then. Loads, you can see the alcohol legs, you can see that 30% ABV. Uh, you can see that jet blackness there going on. It looks velvety, doesn't it? And really, it looks like an oil slick. This salted licorice is just pounding out of the glass. It's like... Fumey, like unbelievable amounts of licorice and salt, and then vodka. Can you imagine that? Here we go, then. Nothing else. I, I can't stall anymore, can I? I just got to give this a blemming go. Uh... actually not bad it's not as bad i was expecting that really kind of crazy salty licorice thing to go on um oh that is hot that is hot that 30 percent abv whoa that's really flying through oh i'm all for trying things in life i'm all for finding new places to visit finding new countries to go to that i've not been before trying the local delicacies, trying the local drinks. I'm all for this. I'm all for this. Um, I'm just a bit of a scaredy cat, you know? It's 
fuming against my eyes. The licorice and the salt and the vodka is, is hitting my eyes and making my eyes itch. It's like salty seawater in a 30% volume, alcohol by volume. Thick, creamy, rich, velvety liquid with tons of licorice. Honestly, if you're a fan of licorice, you'll absolutely love this. It's really aniseedy. It's really licorice-like. It's not as... This is the point now. I was expecting this to be horrendous. It's not actually horrendous. It's actually... It's actually quite nice in the weirdest of ways. Because I set myself up to hate this. I set myself up to wince and oh uh, and oh uh, and uh. I haven't done, and because I haven't done any of that, it's almost like it plays reverse psychology on the brain. It, it plays that oh, actually, it's not that bad. It's worth trying. It is worth trying. It's really weird. It is really weird. There's no, there's no getting about that. In terms of like where you would drink this, of course, Finland in the winter time it freezes over, doesn't it? You know. I imagine in, in a in a cold Finnish winter. Say you know you've forgotten to go food shopping, or you've got a tin of beans or something and you, you know you're kind of stuck till the next day and you're sitting there and, uh, trying to trying to keep warm maybe in the you know and you think to yourself oh, i got a bottle of this salty licorice stuff in the cupboard maybe that'll keep me company you know <laughs> for uh, uh for the cold night maybe 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 that's the answer maybe that's when you crack out the coscan corva Salty licorice vodka. It, it really is interesting to say the least. Um, again, it's one of these things. Um, Buddy Visor sent me a big pack of beer. Always does. Terrific guy. I had some terrific beers in this package, but I most certainly, most certainly left this to last. I left this to last. I wasn't kind of. I wasn't jumping into this straight away. Ah, it's um, it's a funny one because you can feel there's lots going on. You can really taste the licorice. You can taste the saltiness, but then you get this lovely warming sensation. I really like this about alcohol. I like this about stronger drinks. You get that warming sensation of the the heat sliding down the throat into the pit of the stomach there. It's quite a unusual. I gotta be honest with you, I, I'm in complete relief. I'm in complete relief that I'm not like rolling around on the floor or, you know, doing something crazy in the bar because I was totally expecting to do that. Just to wrap it up then, there's nothing on the back of the bottle to really read. It's been made in Helsinki in Finland. It's a 35 centilitre bottle. Uh, Korskenkova.com if you want to contact them. Rating for this Jet black liquid. I like that enough to give it a 7 out of 10. Believe it or not, believe it or not, thinking I was going to hate this completely. I like that enough to give it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.